I'm entitled to these things, Lois, especially after I got shafted by that Asian Santa at the mall. What you want? What you want for Christmas? Um, I was thinking maybe one of those old-timey... Too late! Take too long! Sad Christmas! What you want? Fire truck! What color? Red! Next! Ah! All right, Meg, stay incredibly still. I'm gonna whip that cigarette out of your mouth. And maybe not slice your face in half. Dad, I don't want to do this. Stay still! Ah! Okay, that's pretty cool, too. Hey, Dad, that's a cool whip. Ah, I thought you couldn't understand me! So you say this gumball machine took your dime and didn't give you a gumball? That's right. Well, I'll take care of that. Hand over the dime, buddy. Come on, hand it over. Don't make this hard on yourself. Wait a minute. This gumball machine takes quarters, not dimes. Holy crap, it's a setup! Time to make a quick getaway. You were set up too, huh? Yeah. You realize that kid is plowing both our wives right now. I'm glad everything is back to average. Yes, it's happy to be back home. I too am gleeful. You are improper. Your hair is like hay. A horse would eat it. Go into the wood burning oven. <sighs> I miss our stolen son in America. Do you think he remembers us? Wooden shoe? <laughs> Family man, Dutch TV is probably not that great, we assume. Previously on Family Guy. Dad's working for the Trump White House? Uh, hey, Stewie, can we do that again? Maybe a little more energy? Uh, no. I think we can use it. Oh, yay, that's awesome. Wow, Stewie, that was beautiful. Did you write that? No, but can you tell me who did? Log on now. All right, let's tally up those responses. Wow. You know who that is? You know who Thornton Mellon... First of all, it was Henry David Thoreau. But do you know who Thornton Mellon is? That was Rodney Dangerfield's character in Back to School. You feel good about yourselves? Huh? This is why the other countries are beating us, you know. So, you know, you got only yourself to blame next time you go to the vet and complain that that Indian doctor is too rough with your cat. I took your father's mixtape and hucked it into the ocean. Right then and there, I vowed I would never see him again. <laughs> she said wood. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> wood! Wood! <laughs> You're right. Wood! <laughs> American Johnny. Holy crap, Quagmire, you're famous here. It's American Johnny. American Johnny is back. I take a picture with the giant Samsung phone. Giant Samsung phone is also a tiny Kia car. Oh, right, right, let's go. We're never gonna get up there. I wonder what's causing all this traffic. Oh boy, yep, there's the problem. Not drawn yet. Come on, guys, really? Let's go! What the hell's going on up there? Well, it's become clear. The only way to avert this disaster is by writing a strongly worded letter to the black hole. Dear Space, well, you're just full of surprises, aren't you? You think you're so good because you went to Choate. Well, you're not going to be so tough when I put a fishbowl on my head and a rocket pack on my back and come up there and punch you. Take that, Orion! That's right. All you are is a failed production company.
Peter, this is the site of the 9-11 terrorist attacks. Oh, so Saddam Hussein did this? No. The Iraqi army? No. Some guys from Iraq? No. That one lady who visited Iraq that one time? No, Peter, Iraq had nothing to do with this. It was a bunch of Saudi Arabians, Lebanese, and Egyptians financed by a Saudi Arabian guy living in Afghanistan and sheltered by Pakistanis. So you're saying we need to invade Iran? Gee. Oh my god, my old harmonica! I'm gonna play this really loud tonight to get back at our Armenian neighbors. Hey, hey, looks like a fun party. Um, hey, listen, it's two in the morning. Uh, when is your five-year-old gonna go to sleep? Soon, very soon. You want weird food wrapped in weird leaves? Yeah, look, I'm guessing there's some kind of soccer match from your home country going on, and I get that, I do, but uh, some of us are trying to sleep. And I could almost deal with the noise, but it's the cologne. All right, I can smell it in my bed, and I live two houses from here. That's how powerful it is. Okay, that's how powerful it is. You like it? Yeah, I kind of like it. Boy, Connie must really mean business. Like an Armenian kid in a candy store. Hey, little boy, can I help you? Yes, I wish to buy business and turn into car wash. And now back to the Fox News Report with Rhonda Latimer. Oh, God, that new Fox News reporter is so freaking hot. Good evening. I'm Rhonda Latimer for Fox News. Here are tonight's top stories. Oh, she is just so smoking hot. God, I would do things to her that she would probably laugh at. You bitch! You know, kids, there's a lot of history here. These 50s diners were very popular in the 80s. Boy, am I going to enjoy this meal. Not like last night when I didn't have time to poop before the guests arrived. Do I have time? You know what? I'm gonna go for it. Son of a bitch! Looks like I'm gonna have to pile dinner on top of that. Hey, guys! How are ya? I missed that too, Mom. But we'll manage somehow. We're still a family, right? Yeah. I mean, we're tighter than an Asian family. You doctor yet? No, Dad. I'm 12. Talk to me when you doctor! You know, most of the world's problems stem from poor self-image. <laughs> All this singing is contagious. I'll sing too. Adam West, Adam West. A little bit softer now. Adam West, Adam West. Adam West, Adam West. I'll come out when they're all gone. You're kidding, I do that too. But what are these formulas for? For these. <gasps> oh my god, you've got a weapons room too? And look at the size of it, it's amazing! Yes, although sometimes I think it's too big. It takes the cleaning woman forever to clean it. Oh, it's already broken. All right, here's your Mike and Ikes with all the Ikes taken out. I hope you were careful, because I swear to God, if I find one Ike in there, I am going straight to Babs. It's fine, I double-checked. Here's your Mikes. What's next? Next, I want you to fly to France and tell French people that a good-looking, depressed guy smoking a cigarette is not a movie. <clears throat> people of France, a good-looking, depressed guy smoking a cigarette is not a movie. And your sirens sound like gay guys having a threesome. Well, this is where Meg was staying. Oh, I thought Paris would be a bit more picturesque. Instead, it's just traffic and some big guy using a jackhammer. But, monsieur, this is not a jackhammer. It is a Jacques hammer. <laughs> it seems the happy-go-lucky toy company of Quahog, Rhode Island, has released several highly unsafe toy products into the retail market. Come on, Timmy, throw the silly ball! Oh boy, a pound poochie! Come on, baby Heimlich, spit it out! What are they all doing here? The canal. She is finished. What canal? Pink, senor. What is your new favorite song? Panama? See, si, it is the Panama Canal. Your president Woodrow Wilson is giving the dedication right now. Ah, 
You reached down between my legs, eased the seat back, got the feeling. Power steering, pistons popping, ain't no stopping now. Panama? Wow, look at that. This must be how the Tin Man felt when he finally got his heart. And as for you, Tin Man, a 19-year-old kid in Cincinnati was struck by a drunk driver last night. And so, you've got your heart. You know, it's kind of hitting me now that maybe I was thinking more metaphorically. Oh, no. You said you wanted a heart over and over again. You sang that whole song about it. We bumped you right up to the top of the donor list, which means there's a father of three in Nebraska who now has a very little chance of receiving one within the next 24 hours. So, feel good about that. Now, who wanted the brain? Ooh, I like when Dad talks tough. He sounds like Dirty Harry. You gotta ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Oh, Mr. Harry. You're really not gonna like what I have to say. God damn it. I guess that means I'll never get to see an episode of Superman where Clark Kent and Lois Lane finally get together. Lois, I love you. And I want there to be no more secrets between us. I am Superman. Oh, my God. The only thing that can kill me is kryptonite. Or latex. Or lambskin. What about polyurethane? All that. All that stuff.